Hey, it's Brad with BGS. I'm a revenue optimization expert with BGS, and I help companies grow and scale. I'm also a um, coach and instructor with our e-commerce business blueprint, which is our beginner's level course. Okay, so today I'm going to revisit something that I talked about, I think it's last year on the BGS podcast, and that's common mistakes newbies make. Now, even though I've been in the e-com space since 98, there's a period when I was out of the loop. I owned a brick and mortar retail store from, I think it was 2010 to 2018. And my online focus was mainly on eBay and Amazon, and I really neglected my e-com site. So when I closed the store in 2018, everything in e-com had changed drastically. And in a way, I was a newbie again. So I fell into these traps that are easy to fall into, and I'm going to share them with you. Because you may be doing these same things as well, even if you're not new to e-com. So this is going to be a multi-part series of what I call newbie nuggets of wisdom. So let's get started with part one. So one of the most common mistakes that we see is with social media and specifically social media sharing icons. So a lot of themes have this as a default option and it's instinctive and kind of intuitive to use them. And I totally get it because social media is super important. It's so important when you're building a brand to get those Facebook, uh, those Instagram, those YouTube followers. So the natural instinct is to plaster your social media sharing links all over your site because you want to grow your followers, right? Well, yeah, but not at the expense of your e-com site. So remember, the goal of your site is to convert your visitor to a customer. And you're not going to do that if they click on your icon, they leave your site, and they never come back. Social media links should go in your footer, not on your homepage, product, or even worse, your cart pages. So let's go take a look at a site. Okay, so I'm on Skate, F, uh, Skate XS. This is a skateboard for kids site. Okay, and the reason why I'm showing this site is not to pick on them. Uh, hopefully they'll look at it and maybe they can make some changes. But it's really just to um, show you that even uh, if you're not a newbie, you can be, be making these same mistakes. Because these guys obviously are not newbies. If you scroll down, their UVP is great. That's really what we preach at BGS. Looks great. And they've got 3,219 verified reviews. So they're, they're not a new store. But they're making the same mistake. And what, what you, they have is up top in their main navigation, they have their social media links. They've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And if I click on it, if I click Facebook, it takes me to Facebook. All right, so I'm off of their site, I'm onto Facebook, and I may never come back. Okay, so that's a big no-no. So let's go to a product. And this is what you might have on your page. So go to a product page. Scroll down and just below add to cart. And that's the main purpose is to have that customer add it to cart. Right below that, I've got Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and email. And if I click any of these, uh, except for email, email will probably open up Outlook for your email, uh, whatever you're using for email. But uh, tweet, Facebook, Pinterest, it's going to open up that site and take you off the page. Not something you want to do when you're trying to get the customer to add it to their cart. Okay, so let's add to cart. And this is what you never, 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 never want to do is have these social media links up top right here. Okay, so I'm on my cart page, so close to checkout. But all I have to do is click one of these and it takes me off the page. So again, that's just uh, hurting conversions when you do that. And really the best practice right here is just to remove all this navigation because if you're in the shopping cart, you don't want someone to go from your shopping cart so close to checking out, but then they're, they're like, oh, I want to check out the blog. Okay, so you don't want to do that. Oh, I want to go to Twitter and see what's going on. No, you don't want to do that either. So it's best just to move this. And again, if you're going to have social media links, you want them in the footer because typically when someone goes down to the footer, they're looking for information anyway. And if you're going to have them, put them in the footer. Okay, just uh, to recap, make sure your social media sharing icons are in the footer and anywhere else they can hurt your conversion. So it's okay to have them if, if you have to put them in the footer. Don't, uh, don't give your, re your customer a reason to leave your site.
Okay, so if you enjoy this video, make sure that you like, share, or comment, and subscribe to our channel to see other BGS awesomeness. And if you would like to build, grow, or scale your business, just go to www.workwithbgs.com and we can help you build, grow, and scale. Okay, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.